In many of the regions that Rome conquers, large landowners will be using slave labor. This hurts the small business owners, the merchants and shopkeepers, as well as the small farmers throughout Rome. The large landowners basically are getting their food for free because they can produce their food at a cheaper rate because of the slave labor. This is going to drive the price of grain down to the point that it's almost worthless. And so the smaller businesses are not able to make any profit. This is going to lead to a large amount of unemployed individuals in Rome, and the gap between the rich and the poor is going to grow even more. There's going to be two brothers, though, Gaius and Tiberius Gracchus, who are going to try to make some reforms within Rome. They saw the problems that had been plaguing Rome, and they wanted to try to fix them. They were part of the upper class. They were patricians. They actually quit their jobs in the Senate and they run for election as tribunes and they both get elected into the positions. Um, some of the reforms they are going to make are going to be seen as bad, at least to members of the Senate, um, because their ideas are going to take power away from the government and cities. In 133 BCE, Tiberius is going to propose that they limit the size of large farms and give some of that land to the unemployed farmers instead. So they want to take land away from the wealthy and give it to the poor. At the time, this made sense because in order to be in the Roman army, you needed to own land. So the more people who owned land, the more soldiers Rome could have which they needed because they had such a large empire at the time. Because Tiberius is so popular with the lower class, the Senate has him assassinated, as well as 300 of his followers in 133 BCE. The reason why they have Tiberius assassinated is they're afraid he's going to try to take over the government and take power away from the Senate. About 10 years later, his brother, Gaius, is going to run for tribune, and he proposes taking the unemployed from Rome and resettling them in North Africa. And the Senate agreed to this plan. They thought it was a good plan. Gaius thinks that he had one idea passed through the Senate so he can get anything passed through the Senate. So he starts asking for more um, controversial items, such as bringing the price of grain down and giving citizenship to more people in Rome. And the lower class, the Philippians, love his ideas. And the Senate becomes very fearful of his popularity. So the Senate is going to have him assassinated as well, along with 3,000 of his followers in 122 BCE. One of the problems at the time is that the only group that could make assassinations uh, stop was the Senate. The Senate would be the one to prosecute any um, crimes like this at the time, so they're not going to prosecute themselves. So it is allowing for the Senate to become more and more powerful throughout Rome.